like something's troubling you. Are you like a mind reader or something? Are you a witch? How could you tell? How could you tell? I could hear you talking to yourself. Oh, you mean I said all of that out loud? I don't like bothering people with my problems. I usually bottle it up. I guess it slipped out. Why don't you try sharing with me? It might make you feel better, and maybe I can help. You wouldn't mind? Well, as long as you keep it a secret. You're friends with the Baton Girl, right? I'm talking about the Divine Candace, of course. The thing is, I've been a huge fan of hers since way before she became as popular as she is now. Watching her twirl that baton with a big smile on her face fills my heart with cheer. The simple fact is, I adore her. I'm totally smitten, and I've decided to confess my love. Any day now. So, why not today? Because she might turn me down. Or even worse, think I'm a creep. Then I couldn't sit here and watch her anymore. That would be awful. But I've got to do something. I can't go on living like this. So I've come up with a plan. I'm going to give her a present. That's what guys do, right? Give presents to the girl they like? She's obviously into fashion, so I'm going to give her an adornment. You know, something trendy she'd like. Sounds like a good plan. What are you waiting for? Go get her the present. I, I want to. But the adornment I want is so popular that you have to be at the shop right when it opens so you can nab one before they sell out. But I always have to work then, and I can't afford to take time off. <sighs> Only I could get that present. I would totally go up to him. All right. I'll go and buy it for you. You, you will? Thanks. If you did, I could talk to Candace. Here's the flyer from the shop. It has all the details you need. Oh, and don't forget to get it wrapped. With a ribbon and everything. Light, you're being unusually kind to these two. Are you saying I'm usually not kind to people? Please, welcome to Usnod's most welcome. These are our big sellers. You're a lucky lady. We sell these things as fast as we can stock them. Here you go. I managed to get you what you wanted. This is it. This is exactly what I was looking for. Thank you. With this as a present, I will finally be able to approach Candace. All right, that's it. Work can wait. I've been putting this off long enough. It's time I talk to Candace. Uh, hi? Oh, hey! I haven't seen you around here in a while. And you're with that nice lady who helped me. You know who I am? And you remember me? Gosh, I don't know what to say. Of course I remember you. How could I forget? You were practically my very first fan. Even back when I was totally unpopular and no one would come to my shows, you'd always be there watching every baton twirl. So, anyway, what do you two want to talk about? Oh, right. Uh, well, uh, th that is to say, wh what I mean is... Are you okay? I want to marry you, but we could just be friends. That would be okay. <laughs> Whatever you want. I should have just said the friends bit. That's when it hit me. Realization like a bolt of lightning. Watching this young couple's first exchange. I remembered something from far in the past. I once knew a young couple who were in love. Sarah and Snow. They meant the world to each other, but it took me too long to see it. The memory brought a pang of regret. What if I'd been there when they first met? If I'd seen the seeds of their love first planted, maybe I could have given my blessing from the beginning, instead of waiting until it was almost too late. Congratulations. So, Tommaso. Are you glad you finally took the plunge? Am I? And it was all thanks to you. You gave me the courage I needed. I mean, you're like our Cupid. Thank, Thank you, you, Lightning! Light, just now when you were watching those two talk, did you say anything under your breath, perhaps?